This is a Chris 6 News update with Katia Udiarte. And good morning, everyone. I'm Katia Udiarte here with your Chris 6 morning news update. We begin with an elementary school on lockdown in Gregory this morning. Stephen F. Austin put on lockdown just after 8, an official sending out the statement on Facebook soon after. Now, the cause of the lockdown was because Gregory PD started searching for seven to eight people who had bailed out during a traffic stop near Highway 35. Although the suspects were running away from the area, the school was placed on lockdown to make sure that the kids were safe. Three of the suspects have been caught and confirmed to be in the country illegally. Border Patrol is assisting in that search. Now, the body of a woman has been recovered by CCPD's dive team following an accident on the Harbor Bridge early this morning. Just before 5, police were called out for a motorcycle and passenger vehicle accident. Police tell Chris Six they checked on the driver of the motorcycle and then the driver of the vehicle disappeared. Shortly after, police found that driver's body near an observation deck on the north side of the bridge. The name of the 21-year-old woman has not been released. Chenier Energy is getting ready to send its first shipment of liquefied natural gas from the Port of Corpus Christi. Now, this is the first time in our port's 93-year history that a vessel capable of carrying liquefied natural gas has been in the port. To celebrate this milestone, Governor Greg Abbott and other dignitaries have come in a town. The celebration includes the grand opening of Chenier's liquid natural gas facility, which makes huge volumes of liquefied gas easy to transport via ship. The plant cools down the gas, making it easy to transport. It is a gorgeous day here in the coastal then, right? A bit cool, but we are in November. McClovio gives us a quick look at the weather right now. Good morning, South Texas. We're looking for another beautiful day. Lots of sunshine wall to wall this afternoon, and you're going to enjoy that. Temperatures getting up to about 65 degrees. We're warming up little by little. In fact, by the weekend, we'll be back up into the mid 70s. That's because the south wind is going to roll back in, and that is also going to bring us back a little cloud cover. So if you need dry weather, today's a good one. Tomorrow's a good one, too. Clouds roll in on Saturday, and another front rolls in with rain on Sunday night. Sounds good, Mac. Thank you. And listen, Thanksgiving is exactly one week away. Can you believe it already? Which is why folks with the city are reminding all of us not to pour any cooking grease down the drain. Doing so can actually damage wastewater lines. The city reminding residents to dispose of fats, oils and grease by placing them in a container and discard with your regular garbage. They also advise to put food scraps from dishes into trash cans rather than using your garbage disposal and to remove oil and grease from dishes, pans and fryers by scraping or wiping off the excess grease. And since you're going to be cooking so much for Thanksgiving anyway, how about taking the night off tonight and heading over to the Texas Roadhouse? That's right. This is where you're going to find law enforcement officers switching out their uniforms for aprons and serving tables for tips. It is the tip a cop campaign, and this is what it looked like when it happened in July. The proceeds benefit Special Olympics of South Texas. The Texas Roadhouse located at 2029 SPID is where this is going to be happening tonight starting at 6 and ending at 9 p.m. We will see you there. And that is your Chris 6 news update for this sunny Thursday. Make sure to tune in to Chris 6 at noon, 5, 6 and 10 o'clock. I'm Katia Diarte. Have a great day.